Do you want to get an alert when your return pump fails? Or how about knowing when your skimmer's air intake clogs up? Hey, Terrence here again with another tech tip to show you how to use your Apex's power monitoring feature to alert you when your equipment isn't quite working the way it should. A great looking reef aquarium is supported by a symphony of components that all must be running in tip top shape in order to keep it looking as great as it does. If even one of those components fails, it can take down the entire tank right with it. So knowing about failing gear the moment it happens is ideal, but seeing a problem before it actually happens is almost reef tank nirvana. A perfect example of this would be giving you an alert if your return pump failed, or if it's about to fail, or if your LED light failed to come on, or maybe even your skimmer air intake became obstructed. All of these things can be detected with power monitoring on the Energy Bar 832 that comes with the Apex system. Sadly, many of you out there have this feature already and don't even use it. A perfect example of this is my reef keeping friend, Richard Back, out in Florida. Recently, he went away on a trip, I think it was actually to Macna, and when he came home, his main return pump was off and he had an incredible amount of loss of life in his aquarium. I asked him if he had enabled power monitoring alerts on his Energy Bar 832, and of course he said that he just didn't even have any idea how to do that. On top of this, after I analyzed the power usage of his return pump, it was evident that in the previous days, his pump was having problems as it, it had some dips and some spikes in the power usage that otherwise should have been just a flat line. This means that Richard could have had a heads up to this impending doom and could have taken some action, maybe even replaced the pump before this catastrophic failure would have happened. So, now in this video, I'm going to show you how easy it is to set up these power usage alerts on your Apex with the Energy Bar 832. Recently, we've updated our Apex Fusion Cloud service to make configuring these alerts super easy. Let me show you. Now for the device you're going to want to monitor, you'll need to have had it run normally on the EB832 outlet for at least 24 hours. This enables the Apex to study the normal power usage for that device. For this example, I'm going to use my skimmer pump as the device I want to monitor. First, open up Apex Fusion or your Apex Fusion iOS app and select this icon. It's for the Tasks menu. Now, select the task for the power usage alarm. You'll now go through step by step answering some questions to get the power monitoring configured. Here's where I'll select the outlet I want to monitor, in this case, my skimmer. Now you'll see the recommended minimum and maximum suggested alarm values for that outlet based on the normal usage over the last 24 hours. Apex Fusion selected these recommended values by using a Six Sigma approach whereby the Apex finds the 24 hour mean and then chooses a minimum and maximum value that are three standard deviations from that mean. Using this method, it creates alarm values that will both let us know when something goes wrong, while at the same time eliminating false positives with more than a 97% confidence value. You can just select Next and use these values, or move the sliders to change them as you desire. Now once we confirm these are the alarm values we want, all that's left to do is send it to the Apex. That's it. If my skimmer were ever to use more than 79 watts or less than 74, I'll get an instant iOS alert. For skimmers, this can be super useful. When a skimmer's air intake clogs, it often uses more power since it'll be pulling more water instead of air. Another friend of mine recently went on vacation. The power supply for his light fixture went out when he was gone for two weeks. If he had the new Apex with the Energy Bar 832 and had his power monitoring enabled, it would have sent him an alert. Now what's really cool is that the Apex knows that when the outlet is off, it shouldn't send you an alert. But if the outlet is on and it's not using the power it should, well that's when it sends the alert. Now you should go out and set up some of these alerts for your critical devices. For instance, your heater or your return pump. Now there's one more really cool aspect of power monitoring in Apex Fusion. And that's using it to understand the cost of operation of all your devices and the aquarium as a whole. You might be surprised at how much making just a few tweaks to your aquarium's operation can save you tons of money and help the environment too. From the Apex Fusion dashboard, select the power log icon here. What you're going to see is a day's worth of power consumption of your aquarium. Right here you enter your particular cost per kilowatt hour. That's usually found somewhere on your electric bill. And then send that to Apex Fusion. There. Now your cost of operation for your aquarium is displayed at the bottom. 
you can see what it'll cost you per day and month. And if you click the month, even the full year, based on the usage data that it's displaying above. You can also select a different range. For instance, selecting all will show you the usage for the entire week, and the numbers below will be extrapolated from that. Now here's where the real power comes from this feature. You can go in and look at different components on your aquarium and see what their contribution is to the overall cost. In this case, I'm going to select the heaters on my aquarium. Now you can see that based on one day's data, my three heaters cost me about $64 a month to keep my tank at 76 degrees. Now think about this. What if I wanted to start keeping my tank at 79 degrees? What might that cost me? All I need to do is set my heater outlet to keep the tank at 79 degrees and let that run for a day. Come back here and then see what the cost is. Now I know. The reverse is true as well. How much money might you save if you ran your tank at 77 degrees instead of 79? And now here's another use I found. I was running my UV and saw that with the pump and the UV itself, it cost me about $30 a month to run it 24-7. That's twice what I pay for Netflix. So I figured that half a day would probably be more than plenty time to clean my water of parasites given my 80 watt UV. Making this one change cut $150 out of the operating cost of my aquarium for the year. Now you really should go and take a look at this feature and see where you might be able to cut back on power. Do it for your wallet and for the environment. Now if you run into issues or you have some questions, make sure to check out our community forum out on our website. There are thousands of control freaks out there just like you that are helping each other get the most out of their Apex as well as their other Neptune Systems products. Well that's it for now with this Neptune Systems tech tip, so until next time, take care and enjoy those fish.